I found the top secret Alpine village. When you come here, you feel like traveling five centuries back in time. This place is home to one of Europe's largest and oldest herdsman's tribes. One of the last shepherds gave me an exclusive interview you can hardly find anywhere online. You can only get there by cable car or on foot. There's a chance to see shepherds live in the same way they did in the 16th century. And you'll hear the sound of cowbells ringing across the meadows. At 1,500 meters high, the village is made up of 66 traditional wooden huts with unique oval-shaped roofs. There is no electricity here. The locals use only firewood for cooking and heating food. Instead of cafes, restaurants or supermarkets, you get to enjoy homemade local cheese, sausages, traditional bean soup and unique berry liqueur. Each cheese has its unique flavor, making every visit a new culinary adventure. The main attraction here? Completely forgetting your worries and soaking in the stunning view. The plateau offers perfect escapes with its clean air and tranquil environment, where you can relax and forget the worries of everyday life. Would you visit such a timeless place? It's Velika Planina in Slovenia. I spent one day inside that hidden place and can't believe what I saw. Give this video a like and let's get going! to find out if there's a possibility of staying in this unique place and at the end of the video I'll let you know the cost of staying in a shepherd's hut during the summer season. So our journey started in Maribor, Slovenia and it's about 90 kilometers from Velika Planina. The drive through Slovenia is an adventure in itself with breathtaking nature and picturesque houses that look like they came straight out of a fairy tale. It almost feels like elves might be living here instead of people. After a scenic drive, we arrived at the base of the cable car. To reach this unique village on the plateau, we needed to buy tickets for both the cable car and the chairlift. The total is 60, 60. euro per... We had some discount uh, for a family. For two adults and two children. We are going... A round trip ticket costs 26 euros per adult, but we opted for a family ticket at 60 euros. The cable car from the valley of Kamniška Bistrica takes about five minutes, but the real journey begins after that. You can continue on foot to the shepherd's village, which takes about 45 minutes with a height difference of 200 meters, or take the chairlift for another five minutes. Since we were traveling with our young child, we took the chairlift. The ride itself is a spectacle, the beauty is so overwhelming, it takes your breath away. My daughter Mira happily waved at everyone, totally calm at this height. While I couldn't take my eyes off the majestic mountains that unfolded before us. Reaching the plateau, the view is so stunning that it's hard to decide which direction to go first. We decided to start by climbing to the highest point to get a panoramic view. And here, words aren't necessary, just taking this breathtaking beauty. It's a place where you forget everything else. 
no worries, no troubles, just the present moment. The happiness of being able to witness such natural beauty is overwhelming. Luckily, the weather was on our side, no rain and the clouds didn't cover the Grand Mountains. That's not something you get to see every day. Honestly, I couldn't fully immerse myself in the moment as I would have liked since we had three children with us, the youngest being just one year and eight months old. Parents will understand this. But then, as we stood there, a glider appeared in the sky right in front of us. For a few minutes, everyone was speechless. It soared so peacefully and beautifully above us. Watching it, I imagined the sense of freedom and joy the pilot must be feeling. I'd love to be in their place, wouldn't you? Coming back down to earth from my fantasies, we continued exploring the plateau. Although the scenery was already so beautiful, it was hard to imagine what could surprise us further. But the village we stumbled upon did just that. After walking for just about 10 minutes, we found ourselves in a unique village that seemed frozen in time. It felt like we had stepped into the past. Before exploring it further, we took a short break to soak in the energy of the place. We wanted to blend in with the surroundings and feel the vibe of the village. After a brief rest, we moved on to meet the real residents of this village, the cows. They may not be sacred like in India, but they look like they are in paradise. If there is a cow heaven, it must look like this. Moving down to the shepherd's huts, we were quickly intrigued by the idea of meeting one of the locals. We were curious to learn how they live here, what they do, and how many people reside in this unique village. We started approaching the huts, striking up conversations with the locals. We were thrilled when one of the shepherds invited us into his home to share his story. Now, we're about to bring you an exclusive look into the life of a real Alpine shepherd. What's your name? Marian. Marian. What time of the year do you live on the Planina? From the beginning of June until September the 15th. Just over three months a year. And how many years have you been coming here as a shepherd for the summer? I've been looking after cows here for about 50 years. You could see them just around the corner. So all these cows are yours? Yes. How many houses are there on the Planina? 66 houses, specifically for shepherds. A bit further, there are tourist houses that tourists rent in the summer. How many shepherds live here in the summer? 12 people. Only 12? Yes, I'm talking specifically about the shepherds who take care of the cows here. Do you have any milk or cheese? No, I only have calves. They grow up and then we sell them. That's how it goes. Well, come inside. This is the entrance. How old is this house? It was built before the Second World War. During the war, everything burned down here. But after the war, it was rebuilt. This space is for animals. Since they're outside now, 
I'm not using it. And this is where I rest in the hammock. Where do you get electricity? Is it from the solar panel on the roof? Is it just the solar panel? Yes, only the solar panel. It's so cozy here and you have everything you need. Yes, this is my bed. And here's your closet. Yes. Do you even have a second level? Yes, there's another floor upstairs. Where do you wash up? Do you have a bathroom? There's no bathroom, of course. I go outside with a bucket and wash with cold water. Do you use this firewood for winter? No, I cook and heat my food with them. So you don't have gas and can only cook with wood? Yes. Do you live here in the summer alone or with your family? No, my family lives down in the valley. Are all the houses here the same, with two floors like this? Yes, most of the houses here are similar. Why do you bring the cows here every summer? You live in the valley and could feed the cows there, right? Here, it's like additional feeding land for cows. In the summer, they feed here. And in the winter, we prepare hay for them in the valley. Plus, it's a place to relax. There's always a lot of work at home, but here you can rest. How many cows do you have here? I look after 35 cows here. After our conversation, we offered the shepherd 10 euros for a tour, but he refused. He was simply happy to chat with us and we were grateful for the opportunity to learn more about their way of life. Honestly, after talking with him, my husband and I wanted to stay in the village for a few days to fully immerse ourselves in the atmosphere that cleanses the mind. Wouldn't you like to stay here? for a couple of days. Spoiler alert! We found a similar house for rent. It looks just like the others on the outside, but has all the modern conveniences inside. I'll tell you more about it later. Now it was time for a meal. The kids were hungry and we were eager to try the local cheese and dishes they offer here. There are no typical restaurants and you won't find cotton candy or ice cream vendors at every corner. But there is a local cafe. The menu includes a cheese platter, bean soup, a meat platter, though as vegetarians we weren't interested in that, apple strudel and local liqueur. I'm not sure if it was because we were already quite hungry or because we were eating in such a unique and beautiful place, but everything tasted amazing. The kids devoured everything we were served with great appetite. Cheers! Smells good. Mm. Ah. <laughs> what was it? Oh, I'm tempted. I don't know what is it inside, but it looks like 
herbs. Ah, it's a herbs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Shepherd's herbs. <laughs> but it's too strong. I actually prefer that one because it's like a liquor and it's uh, like from berries or something like that and it's uh, it's very good. This so, one is for this women for and this women. is for ma male. Yeah. Cheers. Time flies here and before we knew it, the day was almost over and we had to catch the lift back down. As we started our journey back, we asked about the availability of houses to stay overnight on the plateau. We saw a few families staying in the shepherd's houses and decided to find out if we could also find a similar house for an overnight stay. Here's what we learned. The houses on the Planina aren't listed on platforms like Airbnb. They can only be rented directly from the owners and they are usually booked a year in advance. However, it's more realistic to stay in the tourist area slightly above the Planina. There chalets are available that look similar to the houses on the Planina but come with all the necessary modern amenities inside. On our way to the cable car, we noticed one of these chalets. We stopped by, which was impossible to ignore. I imagined how amazing it would be to wake up there in the morning, step out onto the terrace and have my morning coffee. Just then, the owner of the house arrived to prepare it for the next guests. He kindly allowed us to take a look. It's different from the shepherd's huts. It has a shower, an electric stove, and even a sauna. There's a separate bedroom, though I must say I missed having a window to take in the view. It felt strange to sleep in such a closed room when there was such incredible beauty outside. There's also an additional room upstairs with beds. It's a cozy place where a family with three kids can comfortably stay. But the best part of this house is undoubtedly the terrace with its breathtaking view. What do you think about its price? The price per season? From 280 euros per night for two people. If you are traveling with kids, it's plus about 30 euros per kid. So, do you think it's worth it? Write in comments. What I can say for sure is that this trip to Velika Planina was truly special. The place is a unique blend of untouched nature and centuries-old traditions. It's a destination where you can disconnect from the modern world and immerse yourself in the simplicity and beauty of life. Whether you are traveling with a family like us or seeking a solo retreat, Velika Planina offers an experience that stays with you long after you leave. Would you visit such a timeless place? Thank you so much for watching my video. Click to watch other video like World's Richest Country is not what you think it is or How I Survived on Van Gogh Trip to Italy. See you soon!